Alright, here we are, my first video. Um, this one's going to be a little bit of a double take. I'm going to show you how to download a flash game, okay? And then we're going to open it up with the decompiler, and we're going to be able to see the variables inside of it, and we'll edit the variables um, in uh, in VB, Visual Basic 2000. Um, after that, uh, I'll, well, first of all, here, I'll show you the final product of what it's going to look like. Um, right here and we're going to be able to run this yeah and um, what we did here is a very very simple thing and it changes your money right there boom you can go to H5 right away and everything works got all the people spawning out special ability Buy all these things, place them down. These things are so cheap because they reach across the map, basically. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so we are going to open up Firefox and go to a website that has your favorite Flash game on it. And we're going to right click or go up to Tools, um, Page Info, Media. You're going to scroll down to embed and it says Age of War update and we're going to click save as and you'll save it wherever you want to I've got it on my desktop we're going to open it up doesn't matter which one you open up um, I'll just do this one whatever I'm going to download it and um, open up an SWFD compiler I'm not going to tell you how to get that but I can tell you you have to pay for it or if you have other means of getting it of course go for it um, age 4 update, click that, click the little plus sign, it's going to bring up some of this stuff, go to action, main movie, you scroll down, all these things are going to probably look like crap to you guys because some of you might not know code, and um, what these are are variables, and it's setting cache, so cache is equal to 175, that's your starting cache. Um, and all these other things, you know, XP, E XP is enemies XP, uh, E underscore cache is enemy cache, you know, E tech, you know, you, you get the point. And we'll just keep this open, then we'll right click it, open it up with whatever you want, some kind of internet browser, then we'll copy this location down, okay, go into VB, new project, just discard that one. Uh, Windows Forms application, and if you've never done this before, go to Toolbox, right click, choose items, COM components, press S on your keyboard, it'll take you down here, and check, like, uh, check the box, Shockwave Flash Object. Uh, in Visual Basic 2008, it'll just be Shockwave Flash. Same with uh, 2006, if you're using them, this works on all of them. And um, we'll go ahead, and I've got it down here at the bottom. And you can double click it, or you can drag it. Um, just put it up over here, make it a little bigger so you can see the game. Okay. And change the name to whatever you want. I'm lazy. I always use something stupid like A. Uh, scroll down to movie. And that location that you copied on, you just paste it in. Press enter and you got your game. Now, go into here. Go back up to the top. Put a button down. Move it over. Make it a little bigger change the text value to uh, change let's go change XP okay go back to the toolbox place down a text box this time okay, put that right there and text will have it you know starting at something high like that and then go up and change the name to um, XP now double click the button and you'll see this right in between private and end um, 
you type this. Call A, which is the name of the shockwave flash thing, dot set variable, and it has to be capitalized just like that. Uh, uh, whatever you want to call that. Brackets or whatever, I don't know. Uh, quotations XP. And then uh, comma whatever your uh, then you gotta put um XP dot text and it has to be capitalized just like that and end it and you've got yourself a little thing to change your XP play it and open it up play normal boom XP is a billion upgrade yeah too bad our money's not like that so um, we'll go here now where I'm not gonna do the money thing um, you can just go in there and change it or make another button whatever you want to do and um, it'll place down a button make it a little bigger um, type uh, age 5 Okay, double click that. Basically the same thing as this. I'm just gonna copy this down, copy paste, and set the variable of tech underscore level to five. Okay. Very, very simple. You got now we got a little bit of a mod here. I guess, or hack, whatever you want to call it. I would call it modding because technically you're not hacking it, you're not damaging it or anything. And uh, H5 makes you alien, whatever you want to call it. And here's something that if you didn't know, um, you can go here, and you can, or I'm going to go into Chrome because I have it open up there. And just like that, um, just with that same code basically, except it means you're an internet browser and JavaScript. JavaScript's got a neat little nifty thing and uh, JavaScript can communicate with uh, Shockwave Flash. So you type in, you go up to the address bar and you type in JavaScript colon document dot embed embeds, sorry, zero dot set variable and then we'll go with uh, cache to whatever. I'm just gonna copy that just in case. We'll play the game. Play. There you go. Yeah, that's another way you can do it. Um, you can go. Uh, oh, what was it? Go back into this, and you can look at all these other things. Right up here is the health. Uh, enemy base 1 is your health, enemy base 2 is that, so we can just copy the, the, this thing down. Booyah. Now we got a whole crap load of health that we don't really need. <laughs> well, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, let me know if you guys need something else made. Alright? Have a good day.